All right, guys, so step one, entering the vehicle. See, it's a Jeep. Um, first aid kit. That way, if I come up on a crash, I can immediately hop out of the vehicle, grab the stuff out of this to go and provide some uh, elementary basic aid, uh, first aid. So first things first on the outside, that is just a little informational pamphlet about stuff that I am not entirely 100% uh, sure on some more, some of the more complicated procedures. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the stuff in here at the moment to pre perform those, but it's there if I need it and I have some of the stuff in someone else's car. All right, so as you open it up, look in here, there's a pair of gloves down at the bottom there, some more adhesive tape in here, some Q-tips. These are all your bandages. Uh, there are two by two gloves, there's four two by two gloves pads, and then a bunch of occlusive bandages in here. Um, then these are all alcohol prep pads and antibiotic wipes. Coming back here, actually see a uh, cold compress, some uh, throat wash, 4x4 self-adhesive gauze bandages, and then some pick, uh, popsicle sticks now, or tongue depressors. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use them for you know checking someone's throat unless I absolutely had to. The main reason I have them in there is to uh, actually make a small splint like for a wrist or something like that. They're not really strong enough for an ankle, but they will they will work in an absolute pinch as long as a person isn't trying to freaking, you know, roll out of there for no reason whatsoever. So anyways, first aid kit. And then coming up over here, this is my uh, multi-tool pouch. Don't have the multi-tool in there right now because I could go and get another one before I do that because I only have two right now that are big enough for that. And then this is just a dump bag really simple throw cans and shit in there when i'm on a long drive or if i am uh if i'm out and you stop pick something up on the side of the road throw some trash in there from first aid and whatnot i've got it right there anyways that's the uh front and accessible by the driver whilst the driver. all right guys this is the second part of the uh video first things first morale patches all day every day pressing rifles another american flag patch down there because i'm that fucking patriotic all right, on the outside, going top to bottom, left to right, carabiner. In case I need to hook a Nalgene bottle, I've got like 3,000 Nalgene bottles, so it's always nice to have one right there. I can also hook a comber tube to the top of the Nalgene bottle and drink it while I'm driving without having to hold it. I know it's kind of stupid, but, you know, whatever. It's there if I need it. It's just an extra carabiner. I had like 500 of them. So, next thing on the uh, list is my seal, my SOG seal pup knife. It's a... Uh, what, six and a half, seven inch blade, half of it's serrated. Not a huge fan of serrated blades, or partially serrated blades, but you know, whatever is a gift, so. Why not, this thing's been beat to crap and still is uh, still looking pretty fucking awesome, so I love it, it's still sharp as shit, so. Um, also carry a uh, Arkansas stone, also known as a sharpening stone. Fortunately, the one I had was too big, so I had to break it in half, and it is, fuck me. Right here. All right, so super fine grit, great stone. Sharpen all my knives with these. Um, I've got a bunch of them, so put that one in there. Next thing up, this is kind of a miscellaneous bag. Holds a little bit of everything, right? So I got a Shemog right there. Super useful. Always have one. Just a uh, a bit screwdriver, multi-bit screwdriver. It actually also angles and reverses. It's a ratcheting screwdriver, so that's really helpful. Crescent wrench, obviously, for working on my vehicle. Um, I can't afford to bring an entire socket tool set with me uh, that's in on this pouch right here. So I compromised, went with one of these, right? It's big enough to handle pretty much everything that I would need to fix or can fix on the trail. Um, space blanket, in case you get fucked up, you can't go anywhere, start getting it cold. Space blanket's really helpful. Um, iPro, always, always, always use iPro. There's just some cheap DeWalt ones, but they work really well. Um, I can't stress that enough. Always wear fucking iPro when you're working on stuff. You know, your eyesight is one of the most fragile things that you have and you need to protect it. All right, rain poncho. Generally, I keep that for the girlfriend. I don't mind rain that much, but girlfriend doesn't like it. She also doesn't like wearing ponchos, but whatever, she'll suck it up. Ah. <sighs> Next, this is a sort of multi-tool kind of deal. It's a, it's got a hammer and oxygen wrench on it. Sorry, this is fucking stuck in there. Um, anyways, there's a saw in there, a larger knife blade, some Phillips head flathead, flathead screwdrivers. There's more of them. Back 
down there. Include some Allen keys and some torch bits as well, because my vehicle loves to take torch bits, as you'll see. All right, headlamp, really useful. It's not a great one, but you know, whatever. It came with the came with the vehicle, so I'm not complaining. Glove. If I need to take off a radiator cap, I need something that has a little bit of insulation. This has got neoprene dots on it. They're not rubber; they are neoprene, so they're uh, they're a little bit better at the whole thermal insulation deal. Dry bag in case I need to throw something in a dry bag, clip it onto the carabiner per se. Um, also considering it is orange, could be used as a signaling device if I need it. Um, generally I keep this in case I'm going to go somewhere, I need to throw like my phone, keys, wallet in, my, in, in this dry bag, hook it onto my belt and then go wandering around in the woods. It's really nice. Um, that way none of my shit gets wet. So very useful. I have a tendency to fall on creeks and shit like that. Uh, another pair of gloves. Can't have too many gloves. These are more of the um, surgical type gloves. They're just they're just your typical uh, latex gloves. But you know, I've got a pair in the first aid kit, like you saw earlier, and I've got these because you know, two is one, one is not. All right. Third thing is a little personal. It's a 50 cal bottle opener because I'm an asshole, and you know, when you're off wheeling somewhere, you want to open a beer, and it's popped off instead of a twisty. Bottle openers are helpful. That's why I have it. Plus, it's just fucking badass. <sighs> Anyways, um, put all this shit back. Da -da -da. Where the eye pro? Sorry, guys. I know this video is gonna suck ass, but whatever. Deal with it. I'm tired. I haven't had nicotine in a long time, and fucking hungry as shit. So, you're welcome, people. I like you a little bit more than I like food sometimes, which is saying something, because I'm fucking foodie. Alright, hold on, I'm going to zip this up, and I'll get right back.